Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a little follow-up to my Proto X bumper comparison. Uh, I've got a couple new ones since then, and uh, you may remember in my last comparison, this green glow-in-the-dark one, um, I kind of discredited it in a few ways. It was a little heavy, um, and I you know, mentioned that the packaging was a little bit boring, uh, so the creator of this got a hold of me and you know made sure that I knew that um, he does have this is the actual packaging um, that he you know he uses this packaging in hobby stores and stuff like that uh, but doesn't use it when he sells on eBay just to you know keep shipping and printing costs down uh, so he sent me a, a you know a copy of what the actual packaging looks like and then he also made some changes so you'll see this is now called the Protex Light so he lightened it up quite a bit and now we've got different clamps you can see it's just a super low profile whereas like before this one came all the way down and clipped to the bottom of the frame here I have one unpackaged of the Protex light now it has just these tiny little clips that that uh, just clamp on to the top of the canopy instead of going all the way down to the bottom of the frame so that's helped with the weight as well uh, so he's reduced the weight quite a bit and has, you know, is no longer has as much of an effect on the flight performance. So that's pretty cool to see him actually, you know, listen to the review and make some changes and improvements. And hopefully everybody benefits from that. And I hope that he's doing well selling these. Um, he also has a couple, which I just, I just think these are the most clever things. Um, they're just kind of decoration. I mean, they do work a little bit as, you know, top guards so you don't hit the ceiling. Uh, but for the most part, they're just kind of for look. So he's got this green Godzilla, or I think he calls it Quadzilla, which, you know, again, I like green and I just think that looks so cool. And, you know, adds some character and attitude to your Proto X. And here's a shark fin one. And I think he's got two or three other versions too. So. Um, you know, check the video description. I'll put some links to his eBay um, page and you go check them out. Uh, I think these are, are pretty neat to add some character to your Proto X. And then a whole new seller got a hold of me and this guy is called Papa G and he's got his Papa G mods and he's got some pretty clever mods. He's, he's taken it a little step further. Um, he's got a lot more than just, um, you know, bumpers and stuff like that and the uh, packaging here is pretty ingenious it's this it's it's just paper but it's it's really clever you kind of open a side here open that side and there's your goods inside and slide that out and then so he's got another clever little holder here with a little message on it and so now you can slide the top of this piece off and there are your prop guards, however many you order. You can, you know, fit a bunch of them in there. Uh, he's got some, some stick extensions as well. And then this is a little piece of tape which goes with one of these guards. So he's got a couple different versions of guards. Uh, he's got one that's kind of like the last one I showed you where it just clamps to the top. Uh, but you'll see his clamps are pretty nice and robust. Uh, whereas these clamps are a little bit kind of you know pretty small there's not much to them to actually clamp onto the frame so I found this one comes off a little bit more whereas Papa G's has a better grip to it uh, and you again you'll also notice the design difference where you know Papa G has circles around each motor and the other versions tend to have this open frame style uh, so you know again you know kind of your personal preference whatever you think looks cooler uh, I think this looks pretty cool with the circles like that. And then he also has, I think this was his original version before he did the ones with the clamps, where this is just flat. And so he gives you this piece of double-sided sticky tape, and you can just put that on there, and then you just stick it on the top of the quad. Uh, so that kind of helps keep the weight down, you know, without having the extra plastic for the clamps. And then this, what I've got installed on my Proto X, is his... Uh, extended battery and um, frame mod. So this is actually two pieces. You've got this um, bottom clamp section. Let's see if I can get that in there. So this this whole bottom frame that mounts onto the frame 
holds this battery into place and this battery is part of it it's he's got the correct plug modded on there so you take off your proto x canopy unplug the battery you put this bigger i think what is it a hundred and 125 milliamp hour battery on there and then you put that clamp over it and it holds the battery into place and then this guard clips on to that clamp there's a hole or a square hole in the center of the frame or the, the bumper here and you just push that down and it fits onto the clamp and makes one piece and so now you've got the bigger battery mod and the bumper built on and because of the bigger battery you can get longer flight times and then uh, it, it does have some forward weight I mean, you can see the battery hangs out the front of the quad quite a bit so you got to give quite a few back trim inputs to uh, level the quad out but once you do that it, it flies just fine and you can you know get the pretty much the same performance you're used to because the uh, bigger battery is making up any difference for the extra weight uh, so pretty cool I'll put a link again in, in the video description he's got a whole website with a bunch of different options and then I also wanted to mention if you've got one of the new uh, WL Toys V272 B aware that these clamp on all these Proto X uh, mods do not work with the V272. It's got a little bit bigger canopy and different placement of the holes uh, so the clamp on ones don't clamp into place and the uh, the ones with the the big long arm grips don't fit over the canopy because the canopy is too tall. Uh, so just be be you know be warned that you can't buy these for the 272 and I would imagine these guys will start making them for the V272 uh, if the quad proves to be popular enough. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a look at everything. So again, check the uh, video description for links and go buy whatever one of these fancied your interest. And uh, I won't do a flight review because I already did a flight review in the last comparison. So, you know, these are pretty much all the same. Uh, these are just, you know, different options and different versions. So if you want to go see them in flight, check out that video. I'll put the link to that in the video description as well. And I think that's that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.